Hey, this is Van Dusen, host of The Bull Shift, and today i got a special guest. I'm talking with Jeg Coughlin, driver of the Jegs.com Chevy Camaro Pro Stock Car. Of course, get ready for the Dodge NHR Nationals. Uh, Maple Grove Raceway, Montan, Pennsylvania. The date is September 13th, and that's that's your uh, the first race, right, Jeg? Well, it is the first race of our six-race playoff, or the countdown, as the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series calls it, and, uh, you know, as a competitor, as a team, uh, it's go time. Uh, so this is, again, the first of six. Uh, we've just completed 18 races in the regular season. And uh, in our case, we finished fourth in the pro stock standings, which was which was uh, actually fantastic because uh, about eight races ago I was 11th. And uh, we had made some changes within the team and, and have really made quite, quite an effort uh, winning a couple of races in, in that span and uh, climbing clear up to number four in the standings. So right now I feel like our team has just about got the most momentum out of uh, all, all the teams going into the countdown in, in pro stock and uh, looking forward to striking uh, starting this weekend in Reading, Pennsylvania at uh, Maple Grove Raceway. It's uh, one of my favorite tracks on the tour. Uh, I have a long history there uh, as, a competitive, as a fan of the sport, and then later in life uh, as I grew into – racing myself uh, as a competitor, and I've been fortunate to win there a couple of times. So uh, no better place uh, to start our countdown than uh, than right there, and, and we're ready to go. You have four wins at Maple Grove Racetrack. How much confidence does that give you coming into the event? <laughs> well, I think having prior success certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, uh, does that give us a leg up? Not necessarily. Uh, you know, it, it's really – it's the countdown. It's our playoff. It is go time, and that means every I needs to be dotted and every T needs to be crossed, and uh, that doesn't just stand for, you know, the mechanics and the engineers in the pit area or the guys reading the track and making the last-second calls or just the driver sitting in the car. I mean, our team right now is, uh, you know, we've got to all be pulling uh, right at 100% uh, in each of our areas and uh, for that to be able to show on track. So, uh, I think the team that is uh, best prepared uh, going into the weekend and executes uh, those kind of three or four areas are are going to be the teams that are going to be tough to beat. And fortunately, in our case, uh, you know, since the NHRA has gone to the playoff format in 2007, uh, I think we've we've won the championship collectively within the Elite Motorsports and Jegs team uh, five times between myself and Eric Anders. So uh, I, I feel like that's a strength uh, for our team. And for the two of us, Erica and myself, and uh, we we look to be a, a force to be reckoned with uh, as as we start uh, qualifying this this Friday. NHRA events they're totally different from all other forms of sports, with the level of access granted to the spectators, etc. How great is it to let the fans up close and personal during the race? It, the NHRA is is fantastic when it comes to fans and fan access. Uh, you know, I grew up in the sport, so it, it kind of became second nature to me to be able to, you know, at that time as a kid, you know, walk into Don Gartlett's trailer and more or less rummage around his trailer, or Richard Darb's trailer, et cetera, et cetera. But every fan that comes to our events now, you know, every pit pass gets you right to the ropes of, say, our pro stock efforts. You know, and you can see our engineers and mechanics working, you know, from, from here to five feet away. And you can ask them. A lot of times have opportunities to ask questions. Uh, the drivers are very accessible, unlike most professional sports. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we're not uh, behind a glass window or anything. We're we're right there walking walking to the fence to watch some drag racing ourselves or uh, signing autographs at our ropes or at the Mellow Yellow tent, uh, et cetera. So um, it, it is a very fan-friendly sport. Uh, and, it, and what I'd like to say is there's something for everyone there, whether you, you enjoy the – the midway type activities with interactive displays or you enjoy the manufacturer setups that are hosting their performance products you like watching the teams work in their pit areas or some combination of all those as well as the on-track uh, efforts uh, you know in nhra racing has the mellow yellow drag racing series which is the four professional classes of top fuel funny car pro stock and pro stock motorcycle as well as the lucas oil drag racing series events happening Concurrently, over the same uh, three-day weekend uh, in the Lucas Oil Series can be up to 10 different categories racing at the event at one time. So uh, 
a lot of great action, uh, a lot of beautiful cars from from stock eliminator to top fuel, and uh, it's it's definitely you can tell I'm a fan of the sport. Jeg, what sets NHRA apart from other motorsports? I, I think what sets the NHRA apart from from other motorsports and other professional sports in general is is just everything that is offered with with the base sale of a ticket and that gets you right into the pit areas as we just spoke. It also, <clears throat> I think as a fan of the sport, as you're in the seats watching the action, you can, you can hear it, you can feel it, you can smell it. Uh, you know, the different classes, like for example, top fuel and funny car, the nitromethane uh, fumes that, that smell, have that odor to it. It's, uh, it's something you'll never forget. And uh, having two 10,000 horsepower uh, top fuel cars pounding the ground for zero to 330 miles per hour in just over three and a half seconds is is just amazing. And uh, most what I hear and what I've heard for you know my almost 25 plus years of racing is fans that have watched it on TV they they enjoy the sport that's pretty cool. Then they come out and see it and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the appreciation and the acceleration of in the touch of so many of the senses that uh, this sport gets you at. And then when they watch it next on TV, say when they weren't at the next event, how much more of an appreciation they had and love for the sport. And uh, that's, uh, I would say those are uh, some pretty keen points to the NHRA over, over other motorsports. Thanks, Jag, and good luck Thursday. Jag Coughlin, driver of the Jags.com Chevy Camaro Pro Stock Car. Look for Jag and all the racers at the Dodge NHRA Nationals. It's Thursday, September 13th at Maple Grove Raceway in Montan, Pennsylvania. More information for you at www.nhra.com. Hey, it's my pleasure, and I uh, certainly hope all of our uh, listening audience enjoyed. Thanks, Jag. Good luck, buddy.